Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to work on getting a table that has latitude and longitude values into actual a point feature class within ArcGIS Pro. So we have this table here. It doesn't have an actual header. So what we want to do is we'll go up to the first row, right click on it in Excel and click insert. And that'll give us a row that we can make headers. So we'll then type in the header that most makes sense. So for this column, I'll do date. For here, I'll do town or city. Then I'll do state. And we won't sit here while I type most of this in, but you get the point. So what we want to make sure is that we have is the Latin long values typed in. Because those are the most important. So these right here. Because we'll need that to create the actual point features within the GIS. So within the GIS, I would probably go to add data and then add the table. So go find that new table that you need to add. And just check it out within GIS. So once you've added the table through the add data function, you scroll down by the standalone tables right click on it and click open there. You should see the headers that you just made and you should see the Latin loan values that you'll be needing. So from there, I'll go to the top search bar up top and then I'll type in X, Y to X, Y table to point. It's a data management tool. Once you have that, you can go in, for the input table, you'll select the table you had, and then you'll see in the X, Y columns, it will select the longitude and latitude that you just typed in. So make sure you have those typed in. Then you can select your coordinate system. Ours is just WGS. And then we can run the tool. So we can see one didn't work, and I suspect that's because the latitude or longitude value was null. Sometimes that happens when you're getting data from the internet. But we have a new point feature. So we can scroll through it, look. And let's just look to see if there's a comparable count of features. Okay, so we see the count is a little off, but that's because that's an address. So some of those may be missing. So let's go back and look at the latitude field where most of these points should have that. And if not, it would be an error within the tool. So we know that and we can look and we can see, okay, so it seems like there's one off. And here, here it may be that one. So just starting to look to see that our data was translated correctly into actual GIS points. So another thing we can do is right click on a feature and zoom to it and just see where it's at. So this is supposed to be in San Diego. Ooh, that looks about correct to me. But one thing we can do is switch the base map to make sure we have some, the proper identification of our cities on. So we'll go to imagery hybrid for our base map layer. And then we can see also this is San Diego, just like the point says. So it looks like we performed the tool correctly with the correct latitude and longitude values. This is just a quick way to get point features from latitude and longitude data. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content.